Good evening. Along with every other news organisation, we quite often report on the impact of climate change. And perhaps for some of us, there is a sense that, yes, it's bad, but humankind is responding and the worst can be averted. But those of you who really know this subject will need no convincing of just how fundamental this threat really is to every last one of us. So over the coming months, we are going to try to explore the reality in a methodical way. We begin with deforestation, partly because the World Wildlife Fund says that it could cause as much damage as all forms of transport the world over. So tonight, to kick off Earth on the Edge, we report from Ghana in West Africa on how the disappearing forests have left the poor struggling to survive. Closer to home in Ukraine, Juliet finds that Europe's love affair with cheap furniture is making attempts to curb illegal logging all but impossible. But our first report is from inside Colombia on the rapid disappearance of its rainforest from a part of the country in fact that was inaccessible until recently on account of the country's long civil war. Well after that you may be tempted to think that yes deforestation is a serious but far-flung crisis but this is simply not true. On the edge of the EU huge sections of forest in Ukraine are being cut down to meet our desire for cheap wood for furniture DIY and building. The vast majority of Ukrainian wood ends up in the EU and 40% of it is from illegally felled trees. So if all that leaves us in no doubt of the scale of the crisis and its proximity to our own consumption and taste, Penny has our final report tonight from Ghana on what deforestation really means for people whose survival is on thin margins at the best of times, where the trees have gone, the soil is poor or virtually non-existent. Desert conditions have taken hold, which is, of course, extremely problematic for both food and water. Life is incredibly hard, but a fight back is on. Ghana is part of a multinational scheme in Africa to plant a 5,000-mile-wide wall of trees across the width of the entire continent. <laughs> 